the past 12 months have been among the most difficult for the royal family. As they said a sad farewell to Prince Philip, Prince Harry rocked the firm by launching a series of allegations towards the Windsors, and Prince Andrew's relationship with paedophile Jeffrey Epstein continues to dominate discussion in the UK and the US. It has seen the firm's popularity slump, including in one YouGov poll from April this year, that showed 63% of Britons believe the UK should continue to have a monarchy. Perhaps most worryingly, among this vote just 34% of those aged between 18 and 24 also agree with the royal family continuing. Royal commentator Daniela Elsa argued that with its popularity so low among youngsters, and the furore around senior members of the firm, it could mean that George may never make it to the throne. In a September piece titled Why Prince George May Never Become King for the New Zealand Herald, Muzelsa questioned what sort of monarchy the young royal could inherit within the next half a century. She wrote, an institution tattered and beleaguered after having barely scraped through generations of scandal and crisis. A public whose benign acquiescence to the notion of a monarchy has worn painfully thin. And a clutch of Windsors with little desire to sacrifice their lives for the good of a throne no one particularly wants. The picture is not pretty. She noted that while the royal family are survivors through and through, and possess some sort of canny instinct in their DNA that has seen them hang on to power, Moselsa was unsure how many times can they pull off that particular rabbit out of the hat trick. The commentator added, Unquestionably, a lot is going to change in the coming years as the Queen's reign ends and that of Charles begins. When that mournful day comes, we might not be only saying goodbye to a truly iconic figure but farewelling the last and final Queen of the UK. It will be up to her son, grandson and great-grandson what comes next. They will be fighting for nothing short of survival. The Duke of Sussex, alongside his wife Meghan Markle, saw their own popularity drop in recent months, with an August YouGov poll showing Harry was the second most unpopular member of the royal family, after his uncle, Andrew. Among the 1,667 adults surveyed, 34% had a positive opinion of Prince Harry, a drop of 9% from April. Meghan's popularity also sank by 5% to 26% in August, compared with March. Just 6% of those polled had a positive opinion of Andrew, the survey claimed. 